Hey everybody, Derek here from Badgerland Birding. Today I actually have some binoculars to unbox, which is kind of interesting because Ryan and I are kind of known for not using binoculars. And so I'm excited to see these and maybe they'll get us to change over to binocular people. So I think this is going to be a package in a package here. Nice. So these are by Bruginius. Those thanks for sending these over for us to check out. Um, it says high quality binoculars on boating slash yachting. I don't think we'll be doing any yachting. Bird watching, sports, and sightseeing. So multi purpose here. Binoculars for that kind of stuff. And you can scan the QR code on the box too, apparently. So we got some nice packaging. Oh, they come in a case with instructions. Binoculars, an instruction manual. Cool. So let's open this up. Here are our binoculars. It comes with a lens cleaning cloth and a strap. They look pretty sturdy. Nice. So these eyepieces come off. They're bigger than I thought they would be. So we have caps on both sides. And these eyepieces looks like they can be folded down. So you can have them out or you can fold them down. So I believe you can use them with glasses too. They feel good in the hand. They feel sturdy. I'm inside, so I don't know how much I'll be able to see, but uh, they seem pretty long range. Neat. Well, I'm excited to get out in the field and give these a try. Look pretty straightforward. You got the focus knob in the middle. They're 10 by 50 and multi-purpose. So for us, we're definitely going to go out and look for birds. Um, but let's see how they work. In the last two years, like, one of the only pairs of binoculars I've held, <laughs> which is pretty crazy. So cool. Thanks so much to Brugenius for sending. Let's go test these out. In order to test the binoculars out in the field, Ryan and I went to a bike trail to see what types of birds we could find. To give an idea of the view through the binoculars, I digiscoped videos through my phone. The other videos you see, Ryan took with our usual Panasonic Lumix FZ80 camera. We have our binoculars out in the field today. We're just on a bike trail. And uh, I'm gonna put the strap on real quick and then we're gonna test them out. It looks pretty clear, the color looks good. Now we just gotta find some birds to look at. Further down the trail, we spotted our first birds to look at through the binoculars, a flock of cedar wax wings. Very nice, I do like the clarity we have in the color. Very cool. I'm always like, you know, picture, 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 like take videos, but I do feel like it forces you to more just kind of be present when you have the binoculars. Very cool to see the little waxy wings. I don't like that these hang down, so I'm actually gonna take these off though. These cedars are being really cooperative. They have the little uh, waxy secretions, the little red on their wings that you can see, and that's a really cool feature. So I'm gonna sit and enjoy these cedars a little bit more. So far I'm digging the binoculars. I was trying different things like folding the eye cups down. The feel is nice. I don't know if you're ever going to be able to pull me away from my camera, but it is nice to have a pair of binoculars. What's the magnification on those? These are 10 by 50. Looking at an American Robin up in this tree. What a cutie. Very cool. If you've never had binoculars or any kind of camera, like the first time you get to see birds up close, it makes it so much more interesting because just observing it from here, I'm like, oh, it's a little blob up in the tree. But when you can actually see like the little features on it, like the white eye ring, the shadows from the branches on it, the way its stomach has the orange and white, it really gets you more into it. 
And especially if you have, like, you know, a kid or someone you want to get into birding, getting them something that gets them close to the birds is also really good, too. It's really cool to see an American robin. Looking at another American robin up here, and something that is also interesting, with the binoculars you get more of a 3D view, where with a camera it is, does feel more flat, like more 2D. So it is cool to have that dimension. And um, also I feel like when I'm looking through here, it looks closer than it does when I take the videos through my phone. So keep that in mind as you're looking at those videos too. Robin overhead, cedars, let's see what else we can find. Got to check out some house sparrows too through the binoculars. Uh, cool to see them up close even though they're a non-native. Uh, so a lot of stuff to see out here. I, it's pretty quick to just put the binoculars up and then be like, oh, that's such and such and keep going. I know some people carry binoculars and a camera, so if they just want to see what something is quick, they'll just be like, oh, that's that, and then they'll move on. For quick views, like, these are great. We continued on down the trail and found a flock of Canada geese in an open field. Just got some Canada geese that are across the road here. I was able to see them pretty clearly. Um, one other thing I want to mention is these are pretty light. Um, I also like the material they're made out of. I think, uh, you know, if you're looking for just a solid all-around pair of binoculars, I think this is, these are a solid pick. We turned around to head back the other way and saw something swimming in the water as we passed a bridge. It's wholly moving. Down by the creek, just had some really awesome views of a muskrat. And uh, with the binoculars, it was super clear. Tried to get some footage through so that you could see it as well. So really neat, glad we were able to add a mammal out here in the cold day and a beautiful, by a beautiful creek. Flock of geese. After spotting the Canada geese, we also picked out a female northern cardinal in some bushes. We've got a cardinal in low light. So it's actually, the clarity is really good in low light. In addition to the cardinal, on the way back to the start of the trail, we had good looks at a cooper's hawk, as well as an American robin, as the light started to fade further. Just looking at an American robin in low light, and the clarity is still really good. So I know once it gets like really dark, we're not gonna be able to see anything, but at least for now, things are still looking clear, looking good, able to get some nice views. After enjoying our looks at the American Robin, we made it to the end of the trail and called it a day. Overall, I enjoyed trying the Bruginius binoculars. I found them to be lightweight but sturdy, clear, versatile, affordable, and great for getting quick 3D views of birds out in the field. If you would like to purchase them, please click on the link in the description below. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. Yeah.